2014, I went in for a triple bypass, and uh, during the uh, bypass, uh, my kidneys shut down. So I went on uh, dialysis. You know, right after that, I knew I wanted to get you know a kidney transplant. And being 72 at the time, uh, you know, I know it's pretty tough to get a kidney. I first came to meet Bill as I meet a lot of my patients in my clinic. When we first meet, we go over all the different uh, opportunities in transplant. He mentioned to me, well, you know, I do have a donor. And I said, well, that's great. You know, that's really going to be your best opportunity. And then he went on to tell me the story of who his donor was. I have probably three people in my life that have had major, major influence from my young life. And John was one of them. I met Bill Warner kind of annoyingly uh, when he was a student and I was an instructor uh, in the latter part of 67. And he taught platoon tactics. For some reason, I was so impressed with this guy. I was like, I always remembered him. That was like in July of 67. And in March of 68, he walks into our company uh, and he says, I'm your new company commander and we're going to Vietnam together. All I can say, while we were in Vietnam, Bill it was an integral part of the unit. We'd go out for 10 days. We almost always had our command post together. We'd sit and talk and talk about what we're going to do when we get back and just talk about life and even look over the countryside, you know, because it's a pretty country, you know, and you try to get away from the war and you see these explosions off in the background and, you know, we're out, out in the mountains. And, uh, so we bonded together from day one and we've always been that way. And it's, it's a bond that, I don't know how you can explain it, you, you'd have to go to war, I think. A special bond that comes from the challenges of a combat situation is an understatement. John and I always knew we had the same blood type, so I told John about it. Picking up the ball, I gave him a call and said, uh, would you like for me to throw my hat in the ring? He would have given, you know, an arm or a leg for us over in Vietnam. You know, why not a kidney? In living donor transplants, the ultimate hero is the donor. They are the ones that are making the ultimate sacrifice. If you look out for the troops, the troops will look out for you. And, you know, what more can I say? You know, without, without them, you know, you just can't be successful. We get the privilege of being involved in this kind of case where somebody's donating the gift of life to someone else. It's really a, a rewarding experience. Dr. Del Pizzo was uh, exceptional, an unbelievable wealth of talent and expertise. To me, life is very mysterious, and uh, my job is to provide the best possible solutions to the people that come to me. And that doesn't really matter if they're younger or older. Each one is a special situation. The whole hospital experience is amazing. They have some kind of a special culture there that everyone is really helpful, all the way down to the housekeeping people. It's just absolutely right. amazing. Happy birthday. Right. In Mr. Warner's case, unfortunately, he has a couple bumps on the road in the sense that right now he's got what we call delayed graft function. He still dials his dependent three times a week, but we're continuing to monitor his kidney function, his medication level, and intermittently we'll do a kidney biopsy to assess the allograft function itself. Okay, here comes the clicking noise. Good. It's been a pleasure taking care of Mr. Warner. Even with some of the bumps on the road, he's been an excellent patient. I'm very optimistic. Happy birthday again. Okay, thank you. Even when I went down for sonograms and things, the head resident sometimes wheeled me back. They didn't wait for transport. It wasn't this. Not my job. Okay. Uh, he kept me back to my room, kept me comfortable. I am really personally proud to be associated with this institution 
and I am really proud of the team that we've built in our transplant services. We've been doing it together for many years and uh, because of everybody's hard work and determination, we built a very uh, successful uh, program here. There's great support within this institution. There's an environment here that values personal effort and it's allowed us to provide care that is second to none to every patient that comes here. Living donor transplantation is just special and when you can layer on these other meaningful um, um, events uh, to the whole process, for me it, it, there's not a better situation in life than being able to help people like that. The last question they asked was uh, how would you feel if the operation isn't successful? My succinct answer to that uh, could be no more than, you know, I did my best. There is something special in that brothers in arms, and now John and I are blood brothers in arms.